Darla Gibbons is here with your first alert weather. Hi, Darla. Hey there, you guys. Yes, the same weather that we saw earlier this week that brought the light snow to the Sierra. Well, you take that day and then you insert it into next week, and there you have it, our weather <laughs> forecast. It's just going to be a repeat of what we have seen. But for the weekend, I know that's what some of you are looking at. You know, we're not going to see any rain for the weekend, but we are going to see the Sierra snow returning to the area late Monday. Now, Monday, we're just going to see a blip on the radar. I'll show you in just a moment. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I think that's when we'll have a greater chance of seeing the snow showers for the Sierra. The only problem, I have two models that I'm looking at, something that you won't make, it won't make sense to you. The GFS and the Euro model, well, they're butting heads, so we'll see which one is going to come up on top. Then the winds are also going to return to the valley with that particular setup, that low pressure system that's going to right now slide off the coast and that high pressure in the Pacific. So we'll see those winds increasing again. And then clouds for the valley, but then maybe a shower. And see, that's where the conflict comes in with those two weather systems. Okay, I should say weather models. So here's the setup we have right now. This low, it brought the snow to the Sierra and also that hail to Southern California. And we'll have this low that's going to make its way across the area. This is the one that's going to slide down the coast along with this high pressure and bring a slight chance for some snow showers. So let's advance this now to Wednesday afternoon because I think that's when we'll see the majority, perhaps, of the snow moving across the Sierra. This particular model, I think, is being just a little aggressive. I don't think this is going to become as widespread as this is appearing. And even the rain here in the valley, I don't think, is going to be as widespread. But we could see the potential for more snow in the Sierra. Right now, it's still a little too early to tell exactly how much and the elevation of the snow as well. This is going to be a slightly cold. Older system because the temperatures on Sunday they are going to cool off for us. Now let's take a peek at this particular computer model. This is an estimate of what we could see as far as precipitation is concerned for rain. It's indicating that we could get a quarter of an inch of rain in Sacramento. If that's the case, it's going to take us out of this dry spell that we have been seeing over the past. 40 days now. And for the South Lake Tahoe area, about two inches of precipitation. And if you combine that to snow, you try to convert that over to snow, talking about about two inches of snow. But we'll definitely keep an eye on these systems, on these models, to see which one is going to come out on top to see exactly when and where we could have the snow. Talking about the wet weather, so the National Weather Service just came out with this study, and it's ranking the wettest interior portions of Northern California, and a couple of our locations came in at some of the wettest conditions from October 1st through November 30th. Fairfield ranked number two, getting more than 10 inches of rain. Sacramento came in number eight with about seven and a half inches of rain. Blue Canyon and Stockton both came in at 10. Blue Canyon, 22 inches of rain, and in Stockton, about four and a third inch of rainfall. But with that, we're still having around 40 days and counting with no rain in the area. Now, so if we do get the rain next Tuesday, I think we're actually going to maybe tie or break this record here of 44 days in the rainy season with a dry spell. So let's take a look. We're going to continue to see dry conditions. This was the uh, outlook for the month of February, and it is holding up. We've had no rain for February. But here's the setup now. We have that high pressure that's going to be over the coast. We're going to see those winds once again picking up over the region. But for this system, we'll see those winds tapering off in our region Thursday, we'll have some calmer winds across the region. So for San Francisco tomorrow, you will see the winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, 66 degrees. Temperatures are going to cool off as well. 68 in Fairfield. We will see plenty of sunshine across the region. Mid and upper 60s across the valley. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. In the morning, we will have occasional gusts up to 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. 60s across the foothills, 57 in Pollock Pines and in the Sierra. Temperatures warming up 43 degrees for South Lake Tahoe. So your seven-day forecast now. We'll see temperatures in the 60s. We'll see 70 degrees for the weekend. And then next week, we'll see that chance for some shower activity returning to the foothills. And then maybe, maybe some snow to the uh, Sierra again. And those breezy conditions are going to return. Curtis?